Virtual Surveyor 7 allows us to create cut and fill maps. But cut and fill maps are not the only new thing we created to make you more productive. I will give you an overview of the seven new features in this video, right after this. Number one, cut and fill maps. To create a cut and fill map, select the boundary around your work area. Set the reference state, in this case, August 15th, and click Volume Difference in the Selection tab. The cut and fill map appears, and in the lower left corner, you find the numbers. You can play with the minimum and stretch two values to emphasize the appearance. Also, a height difference tooltip automatically appears when you hold your mouse still. It shows the elevations and the cut or fill between the two terrain states. Number 2. Terrain States Cut and fill maps are possible because we introduced the concept of terrain states. Terrain states allow you to organize your work area over time. Also, your terrain modifications stick with the relevant terrain. Look at these bulldozers. It's very unlikely that they will stay at the same location. Creating a terrain state is simple. Add a new state in the drop-down and add your ortho and DSM. Number 3. Pin Items A cool feature with terrain states is that you can pin an item to appear on all states. Typically, you want to pin your work area. When you pin your cut and fill map, you can assess the cut and fill evolution over time. When you change states, the cut and fill map updates automatically. Also, this water basin is pinned. Over time, it filled with water and shows noise. You don't want that noise or a water level to influence your volume difference. I've pinned the terrain modifier so that it doesn't influence the volume calculation in any state. Number 4. Nearly free objects. We have improved the clean terrain. In the past, it was designed for freestanding objects like this container. Now it also works well for nearly free objects that touch other surface objects, like this large conveyor. Simply trace around the conveyor and you'll see a sharp edge being cut off here. The clean terrain is a tool you will use intensively for your Earthworks projects. It will help you clean your terrain states and allow you to calculate precise volumes. Number 5. Dynamic Ribbon The ribbon was getting a bit crowded, while many buttons stayed inactive because the proper input wasn't selected. So, we made the contextual tab completely dynamic, only exposing those buttons that are relevant for the selected item. For example, I select this boundary. I can choose now to edit vertices, densify it, split it, and so on. Clip terrain is not shown at this point. I can also select an image terrain and choose to change the order so that it appears on top. And when I select multiple items, I only get those buttons that are relevant for the joined selection, like Clip Terrain. Number 6. Multipoint Item With Virtual Surveyor 7, we introduce a multipoint item for all gridding operations. Gridding generates so many points that the project view quickly became unmanageable, like this 70-kilometer long trajectory over which I ran the low pass points. All 24,000 points are now available in one multipoint item. I still have the possibility to edit the individual points from the low pass grid. I can delete points or move them to another location. I can also create additional points and merge them with the multipoint item. Number 7. Keyboard Navigation Sometimes you don't have a mouse or the mouse wheel is not working properly. Pressing R enables the 3D navigation with your keyboard while you use the mouse pad or mouse to change the azimuth or tilt. The arrow allows you to change the azimuth 
and tilt. Minus makes you zoom out, and plus makes you zoom in. And finally, Control Plus or Control Minus changes the elevation while you stay at the same location. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch some of our other videos. Also, click the logo to subscribe to the channel and keep up with future videos.